What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bro Talk 1000, and I'm back at y'all with another video. All right, man, real quick, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that like button, and then hit the subscribe button, please. You're going to like the content from this channel, man. Trust me, man. It's all good over here, man. We get it. We get it in. We talk. Whatever y'all want to talk about, leave comments in the comment section, man. Email me, Bro Talk. 1000 at gmail.com and we can go ahead and get it in discuss various things whatever man but this is a boxing channel man but right now i'm trying to hurry this up because we got a we got a fight coming up <clears throat> here shortly yuri orcus Ball versus javante tank davis this is going to be a hell of a fight it's going to be a hell of a scrap man all right so how are we going to break this down who do i think is going to win i did a i did a uh analysis of this video a pre-fight analysis of this video maybe last week or the week before and um yo this is gonna be a good fight in my opinion man because you got the you got basically two mike tysons coming together man do y'all understand do you understand that bro we got two mike tysons coming together bro two mini mike tysons bro Yo, it, yo, it's about to be crazy, man. So anyway, the old, the uh, Gamboa is the, uh, yo, the seat making all this noise. It's the seat making all this noise. Y'all hear that? That's the seat, man. It ain't me. <laughs> I, I do something about that. But you got <clears throat> the old Yuri Yorkers Gamboa, man, coming back, trying to make a comeback. He's on a little bit of a win streak. He been he kind of fell off and sloped off a little bit after getting knocked out by Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? So right now he's at 135, making his mark, and he's trying to come back like he's got something to prove. And um, put it to you, let's give you a little bit of perspective if, if you don't know. Uh Yuriok is Gamboa is like I said, he's like a mini Mike Tyson, man. He comes to fight all the time, bro. He's gonna bring it to you. And when you fighting him, it's a matter of willpower with him, man. Cause he's very skilled. He's very skilled at the same time. He's just strong, fast, powerful, athletic. Very athletic. And you got a uh a dude like uh Javante Tank Davis, man, same way, young, very skilled. His his boxing skill set, his boxing skill set, is very underrated. If you ask me, bro, people just talk about the power, like oh, he's a devastating puncher. No, the dude know how to set the punches up. He's a southpaw man. He knows how to slip, and you know what I mean. He knows how to position himself to land those perfect shots, man. The, the dude is a, he's a bad dude, man. Javante Tank Davis is a bad dude. But you got Gamboa. Now, if I had to make a prediction, my prediction is this, man. My prediction is Javante Davis is about to put this dude to sleep, bro. He about to put Gamboa to sleep. I'm sorry. I don't know no other way to say it. I don't know no other way to say it, bro. He's going to put... Yuri York is getting bold to sleep, man. I'm going to explain to you why, man. It's just because Javante Davis looks to hurt everybody in every single fight, bro. And you can tell he's one of them kids like that was like a bad kid. He was like one of them bad kids in school. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, 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 like you could tell, like, he just liked, liked the fight, bro. He just liked to hurt people. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he's not. He don't seem like he's all there upstairs, Javante, man. He just, all he know how to do is fight. All he like to do is fight. And 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 he will, he'll fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Gamboa comes from the Cuban school of boxing and all of that. You know, yada yada yada. But he's not necessarily like a Cuban style boxer, if you ask me. Cuban style boxers are more of boxers. Uh, Gamboa is known as known to be more of a brawler, right? So you got a brawler versus a brawler. You got a Mike, little Mike Tyson versus a little Mike Tyson, man. The problem is going to be with the age and experience, man. Uh, not the experience. I'm sorry. The 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 age. Basically, the age. You know, what I'm saying the age difference, man. Uh, Javante Davis, twenty what four twenty five, something like that. You know, young cat, man. He's hungry. He's up and coming, and uh, you got Gamboa just. Maybe he just here to get a check, man. We never know, man. 
we never know, man. This could be. This is just a showcase fight. It's a show. It's a showcase fight, man. Uh, I think. I think Gamboa is just coming here to get a check. Javante is bigger than him, <sighs> stronger than him, faster than him at this point in his career, man. I don't know, but maybe what I'm what I'm hoping for in order to make this a good fight is I'm hoping that Yuri Orkis Gamboa can come through and do some like, you know. Just be crafty. Be crafty with it. Make the little, make the youngster think twice. You know what I mean? Make him think about throwing that jab. Hit him with a counter. Boom. Like, nah, don't do that. You know what I mean? Something like that. Like, I'm hoping that he can make it a hell of a fight. Because if not, man, if you don't got nothing for Tank, bro, Tank going to walk through you, man. Tank going to walk through you. you gonna, he going to hit you with that right jab. You know what I'm saying? Play around, faint with you. And he just hooking all day headshots, man. Body shots. Man, look, Tank is a dangerous fighter, man. Check out my video I did a few months ago about Tank Davis, man, the future of boxing, man. I don't know, man. It, it, I think it's pretty set and dry, man. What you guys think? You let me know what y'all think, man. I think Tank Davis is going to knock this dude out within. I'm going to say that uh, Gamboa's experience will allow him to last like 10 rounds. You know what I'm saying? His experience, his will to survive, his knowledge, his know-how, his experience basically could probably let him survive eight to ten rounds. You know what I'm saying? But he going to get caught by Tank. And like I said before, y'all listen to this video, man. And come back and give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you, if you, what I say is correct at the end of this right here. Javante Davis is going to show y'all some slipping skills. He's going to show the, the head movement, the foot movement, the footwork. He's going to get inside, bang, bang, touch him up, and it's over. That takes skills, man. People saying that, yeah, but Javante never fought nobody. Yeah, okay, he never fought nobody. That's his promoters and everything moving him in that direction. You know what I'm saying? That's his promoters, his team, his management, his advisors, whatever you want to call them. They're moving him in that type of direction. You know, to do or not do or fight or not fight whoever he fighting. You know what I'm saying? But all he can do is beat whoever's in front of him. And right now, Gamboa is the first name that's in front of him. So, hey, he got to get this work. He got to get this work. Gamboa got to get this work. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen, man. So, uh, I say if I had to make a prediction, I'm going to say a knockout by round... <sighs> 10. I want to say 8. I want to say 8. Uh, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with 10. I'll go with 10, man. I'm, I'm going to hope that Gambo got enough skills and know-how to at least survive a little bit longer than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But Gambo is not a boxer. Like He's not a survival type of fighter. You know what I'm saying? You hit Gambo, he want his right back. And you don't want to go punch for punch with Tank, bro. You don't want to do that. And that's what I see happening, man. So at the end of the day, man, my prediction is uh, Javante Davis, 10 rounds, man. 10 rounds is going to be a knockout, man. Knockout, not going to decision. Oh, but before I get off of here, too, real quick, I want to talk about the weigh-in real quick. The weigh-in was straight, right? Um, What's the name? Mr. Mr. Weight. Uh, Tank Davis, Mr. Weight, had to go lose one pound. And come back, excuse me, y'all. This light is in my it's, it's killing me, man. He had to go back, lose uh, a pound, and come back, re weigh in, re weigh in. He did, he made the weight, and all that, whatever. But the funny thing is, though, when he had the damn the face off, right? They did do the face off, they like this. Oh, looking at each other, they staring at each other. It was funny. But that shit was so staged, WWE style, son. If you can't see that, that shit was so fake. The dude said, watch the video, right? So the guy, the guy, they, they facing off against each other. Then the guy with the black and orange hat, you can see everybody like they, they posturing up, like getting ready for it, getting ready for it. And the guy with the orange hat, right, he goes, he goes, um, now. And as soon as he says now, the, the okay, the melee happens like the guy, the the uh, 
Tank pushes Gamboa and then all the shit happens. But if you watch it really carefully, he says, now. And then the some bald-headed black guy, I guess some security dude, I don't know who he is. He jumps in the ring, right? I mean, not in the ring, but he jumps on the stage and starts breaking up before Tank even pushes him, bro. I'm like, yo, what is this? Like, I mean, I know it's boxing. I know they got to sell it. I know. Oh, they do stunts like this all the time. This is nothing new for boxing, bro. I know. But it's just crazy to me, man. That it's just crazy. That was just that was just like you're like, bro, come on, man. I can't make it no more inconspicuous than this, bro. This is very obvious what you guys are trying to do. Like, this is very obvious. It's almost pathetic. Like, I mean, the dude like now. And then Evander Holyfield holding the belt, acting like he don't know what's going on. He like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it was funny, man. But anyway, yeah, that that was the drama that happened. But you know, what I'm saying he kept his, he keeping his belts. This is gonna be still be a title fight. And Javante needs to get that shit in check. He needs to stop freaking missing weight, man. He coming in like one to two pounds. Oh, he needs to stop doing that. You do not want to lose your title on the scales. This is not the first time this has happened with Tank, man. So this is bad sign of things to come in the future, man. He may he might just need to hurry up and go up to 140 or 147, man, because it's obviously hard for him to make this weight, man. It's hard for him to make this weight. He's a big dude. Y'all see him how he look like a cabbage patch when he ain't fighting. He look like a cabbage patch dog. This is why. Because when he's coming, when he's uh off off training. Off season, whatever he eating good, he drinking, he probably smoking, whatever he doing. I don't know what he doing, but he out there doing what he do, and he just letting it go. He don't worry about getting in shape until a training camp come for a fight. So he just doing what he do. But that's a sign. Of, that's a bad sign of things to come, man. Because he's young. He's too young in his career for this, man. He's not being. That's not professional. But you know, I mean. He took care of it this time, man, but that's going to be for a different video, man. I don't want to drag on about that one too long, man, but we're going to save that for a different video, man. But next, man, I might talk about, I'm going to talk about that Pascal versus uh, uh versus Badu Jack fight. That's going to be a great fight, man, but we're going to get into that, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's your boy. Oh, wait. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button. It's your boy, Bro Talk 1000. Yeah, and I'm out of here. I'm out here. Peace.